good morning and greetings in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and it is so wonderful that we could be together for these few minutes to listen to what God wants to speak to us which will remain with us throughout this day to guide our lives today's meditation is taken from the gospel according to St John chapter 13 from verse 1 to 14 The disciples were arguing about who among them would hold the leading positions in the government Jesus was about to set up. They were caught up in the ambition of a position, power and authority. How the heart of Jesus must have been cut. so little time left for them to learn that the way to glory was not through service and positions and not through authority but it is through service unto the lord and that means serving the people and many people do not understand it once they get into this position they think they must now exercise their power and authority over people in that way you will never achieve the glory that would have been yours if you were willing to serve how could jesus put this message across to them forcefully enough that they will never forget what Jesus has taught them it was this thought that prompted Jesus to wash the disciples feet this event took place in the upper room and this upper room room was a place where many significant event took place three things drove jesus to wash the disciples feet number 1 he knew his time had come you read john's gospel gospel according to st john chapter 12 verses 23 and 24 please after this meditation look into this passage he had to die and the time is very short and whatever his disciples must learn must be taught to them now soon the time will be over and the second thing is he loved his own now in the world his own in the world his own includes all the heavenly host as well believers already in the presence of god they are included among the heavenly host he is the son of god in the present in the in the in the son of god to whom everything in heaven and on earth was given to him but in this context it was all who are in the world and that is his disciples jesus was compelled to zero in on these disciples and to do whatever was necessary to help them that was his great concern thus he was compelled by love to wash his disciples feet and thirdly he knew his enemy the enemy was about to strike he had to act before the enemy struck the disciples had to be strengthened and fortified and here is the message for his disciples of today 
in this 21st century what is the message conveyed to us through this incident these same three things should drive every believer every disciple of jesus christ and serve god and serve him now because number one if you know the time knowing the time is important what time are we living we are living at the very last moments of the last day and this is important for us to time is short and according to john's uh, gospel according to st john chapter 9 verse uh, 4 it says here as long as it is a day we must do the work of him who sent me night is coming when no one can work this is the time we are living in time is short and the night is coming and it is coming very soon and before that whatever work to we need to accomplish must be accomplished by doing it with our whole heart and the next thing is loving his own and we too are responsible for other believers we don't live for ourselves we don't belong to ourselves if you read the scriptures in the new testament of the paul's writing this is what he says other believers are members of the same body of jesus christ the church and he does not have a two bodies he has only one body the church that he is building and so the message for us is we as members of christ body love one another we cannot be independent we cannot say i am on my own and i have nothing to do with others i go to church and worship and come away i don't want to stand around and gossip etc etc and many people don't go to church saying the people in the church are all hypocrites man you say all these things simply because you have not understood the scriptures hypocrites will always be there jesus time he never missed a synagogue and who were in the synagogue full of hypocrites so that doesn't mean you have to be a hypocrite you still go to the house of god because that's where god will meet with you in a special way and that's where you find people brothers and sisters some are stronger than you some are weaker than you and you learn and get help from those who are stronger than you and you help others who are weak weaker than you and that is your responsibility because we all belong to the same body and Jesus Christ is coming back to claim his body which will be his bride and he is not going to come uh, uh, come to take only you he is coming to take only his body where there are thousands of members who are connected who are joined to his church and to be a blessing to the church if there are hypocrites it is your presence that can make a difference your contributions you are uh, teaching and you are helping and encouraging others not to be a hypocrite but come and be sincere and honest in serving god because the bible says love one another and again in first john chapter 4 verse 8 says whoever does not love does not know god because god is love and then again it says by this the world will know jesus said that you are my disciples because you love one another and uh, thirdly knowing the enemy that he is going to strike immediately with all the force he has ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 onward you read we have an enemy 
And when an enemy is not flesh and blood, but he is as real as a flesh and blood, he is the devil himself. Against the powers of darkness, evil forces, they may not have flesh and blood, but they are real. And be alert. This enemy is the cause of all the destructive elements existing today in the church, in the families, in our groups, everywhere. And the Bible also says in particular in the, in, 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 in the letter of Peter, the devil is prowling around like a roaring lion to find out whom he may devour. Whom is he trying to devour? He is not, try not trying to devour those who are already in his pocket. He is trying to devour those who have gotten out of his grip and now following Jesus and waiting for him. And his business is to get them. And that's why Jesus said, Be alert. Watch and pray. You need to watch so that you can easily recognize when the enemy comes. And you need to pray that when he comes, you will have the power and strength and the understanding of God's will for you. You are an overcomer. And my brothers and sisters, understanding and knowing the enemy is important for us to be victorious. And so may this meditation this morning help you to understand your responsibility as a disciple. Know the time in which you are living. Time is short. Jesus is about to return for the rapture of the church. Not only you must be ready, but you must help others to be ready too. And you must know the time. And you must also love those who belong to you. Who are the people belonging to you? The disciples of Christ. You are a disciple and all the disciples of Christ in your congregation and in the church worldwide, they belong to you. So you are, you are, you are, you, you are compelled to love and serve them. That is it. So you know your enemy, that is important too. Who is our enemy? The devil. Not your brother or sister. It seems that your brother may gossip, sister may gossip, and then you start a fight. And for the outsiders, when they look, it seems that two individuals are fighting. But the real fight is not you. The enemy is creeping in and using those who are exposed to him. And so you be careful that you are not exposed to the devil. And I pray that you will be strengthened by this example of Jesus. And protecting one another, strengthening one another, preparing others for the coming of the Lord. God bless you as you live your life for others. And thus for Jesus Christ the Lord. Father, we thank you for today's lesson. You have spoken to us and revealed to us your will. Now, Lord, we give ourselves to you. You just use us by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is a great day. Have a good day and enjoy it. Amen.